Hello and welcome to this lesson on some product. This is a function that I love showing people. It's one of those functions that saves you just so much time. It's great to understand what it is because if you're using other people's spreadsheets and it's in the spreadsheet, you kind of do need to understand what's going on. But boy, it saves you a lot of work and it saves you a lot of space on your worksheet as well. Let's have a look at what it does. So first of all, I'm just gonna come up to um, cell E1. So if you're following along with me in the exercise file, come with me. And I'm just going to do a double click in the cell just to show you the color coding with the in-cell editing. Right. Some product is amazing in the fact that it eliminates you having to have total columns. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean. What the sum product's doing here is it's actually taking the 85 cents and it's multiplying it by the amount of times that item has actually been sold. And then it's adding it to the sum. Then it's doing it for the next one and it's adding it to the sum and so on and so forth to give you, I'm just pressing my escape key, an overall total. So effectively what it does is it eliminates you from having to do this. So if I come over here and I need to work out this total, my cost price, what I've actually spent, um, what I can do is I can obviously do it the long, hard, manual way by just going like uh, total dollars cost and if I come down here, of course, I'm to, all I'm doing is I'm just taking the cost price, multiplying it by the units sold, and of course I can then copy that down. Now, look at this. Down here, we can actually see the total. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just come down here. I'm just using Alt equals. That gives me my sum. Press Enter, and look. Exactly the same total as what we've got up here. So if I had to do that for the sale price, that means I'd have to have another column and another column. And so it can actually fill up your spreadsheet with a whole heap of columns you don't actually need. Now this is just a small example, but some of the places I go, and I'm going to show you in a minute some examples, some of the places that I go to teach people when they show me these spreadsheets, they are full of these types of columns and I can eliminate those columns for them very, very quickly just by showing them some product. So if you're doing this with me, just we're just going to get rid of that, we don't need it. I'm going to get you to come along and click on to E2 with me and we'll do a sum product together for the sale price this time. So rather than having to come over here and do, you know, equals, this multiplied by the quantity sold and then adding it up, we're going to use some product. So up here, go and find some product for me. So again, FX. And if you can't see it down here, just type it up the top here and click on go. And there it is there. Click on OK. Sometimes it's in the way, so you can just move it out of the way. Now, all we need to do is take the sale price for the first array and then the second array is going to be the quantity sold. So always make sure that the arrays have the same dimensions. You can actually see it down here. So they must have the same dimensions, the same height, exactly the starting from exactly the same points as well. When I click onto OK, it gives me the total. So let's just do a double check on this. So if I come over here and I'm doing my equals sale price multiplied by the quantity sold. And of course, then I can just do my double click to copy that down. I'm just using Alt equals, nice and easy way to do the sum. And look, it's exactly the same information. So I love, love, love some product for the fact that you can easily get that total that you're, you're requiring simply by just showing the two different arrays to Excel. It will then take each different item within those arrays, multiply them together and add them to the list to give you your overall total. So no need for that column at all. And then all we need to do here is just take that minus our cost and there we go. So I just want to show you a couple of examples. Um, I'm going to come over to some product two down here. This example is a really good example of the types of things that I see when I go into other people's work and they show me how they are working out their calculations. This is a really good one. Um, here we've got an example of where this particular client was wanting to know how many litres they had of a particular product. But the product came in different sizes, so you can see one litre, two litre, five litre and so on and so forth. Um, this is the, the formula that they created to work it out, bless them. And it, and it did, it actually worked it out beautifully. So what it's doing is it's taking C5, which is obviously um, the 25, they've got 25 one litres in stock, and multiplying it by C4. 
and then adding the next one that's actually got, if you can actually see, it's got the D5 multiplied by D4, so that's obviously giving us the 30 litres, and so on and so forth, to come up with this 217.50 up the top here. When I saw that, I went, do you want me to show you an easier way? <laughs> and of course I showed them this. What we have here is we have the ability to say to Excel, look from C4 across to G4, and you'll see it's been anchored as well. So we have the absolute dollar signs in there because we want to copy it down through column I for the other products. And of course then what it's doing is it's actually saying take that, that particular row up the top there, and then multiply it by the row below, and then give me the total of all of the different results from those multiplications. And of course it's given us exactly the correct amount. And then of course this has just been copied down through the list and you'll see that it easily has created the same result as that hairy horrible manual way of doing it very very quickly. So as you can imagine the gentleman that I showed this to was over the moon because he had to go and set up a new price sheet or a new stock sheet and doing it this way saved him like so much time. Right, let's come along and look at this one here. So this example came from a real life scenario as well where we had a client that had multiple uh, stores that they were buying for and they were bringing and collating everything into the one sheet. And if I just show you this... Look at that, beautiful colours. So this is the same kind of scenario as the previous exercise, but again what's happening is the unit price is being multiplied by the number that's being ordered and then added to the next row that's being multiplied and then that's one being multiplied and that's being multiplied. So that this actually is small compared to what I was working with. It's a tiny wee fraction of the, um, the different things that were being ordered. So I came in and showed the company how they could change that just through using a sum product and that is now all it's doing is it's actually taking that unit price you'll see that it has been locked with the dollar sign because we're going to copy it across this way um, it's been locked and of course it's got just saying take the values in this area or this array multiply it by the values in this array and give me the total and it will give you exactly the same as what we were getting up here and of course because it's been copied across and because it's been locked on to column C we're getting exactly what we want without having to have individual total columns for every single store that would make a very very big spreadsheet so there you go I hope that you think the sum product is just as good as I think it is so remembering when we're going through these functions not only are you learning how to use the functions but it's very important that you learn how to read them because if you see these functions in other people's spreadsheets you're going to be all over them and you'll know exactly what's going on